Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the how you can help, which brings up the Family for the Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, now it's going to be time for the FFG Chronicles. For those who don't know, I'm Paul Burry, Family from the Game, and I'm doing FFG Chronicles on what has happened uh, recently on our YouTube channel. So if you follow our YouTube channel, you know, we're right on the verge of hitting 100K, 100,000 subscribers, which is like absolutely awesome. Really appreciate everyone out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and we, as you know, we're, we do tons of stuff here on Twitch. Well, we ran into an issue with uh, copyright strikes on YouTube. Now, yeah, when you hit the point, in fact, you know what? Before I go too much deeper into this, I need to share with you my um, fortune cookie. Share your happiness with others today. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna share my happiness with you. I am happy, 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 happy. Phil Robertson, happy, 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 happy. Okay, so what wound up happening was we got 12, actually wound up at the end, 14 copyright strikes on our YouTube channel, just out of the blue, right? So it started on December, yeah, it's like, ah! Nice emote, thank you. On December 18th, we got the first one, and we're like, okay, this doesn't make any sense to us. Uh, it was on the Just Dance video. It was from Ubisoft. It was actually from Just Dance Ubisoft. And we were like, I, I don't get it. And we uh, contacted their, they say contact the claimant uh, at the video rights, and we're like, hey, what's the deal? We've worked with you for close to 15 years, and we have a license from Ubisoft PR to be able to record Ubisoft games. And uh, the other thing is I went and checked out the copyright laws, uh, 107 under fair use. It says if it's being used for teaching, then it's legit. You're, you're, you know, people who have a copyright claim can't make the claim anymore. So, um, and we get, and you're like, what, how do you know yours is used for education, for teaching? Well, we have all these kids who leave comments on our, uh, like Just Dance Kids and Zuba Kids videos and say, Hey, we did this in P class. My art teacher had me do this. My math teacher had me do this. We get all these comments about that. We've also talked in person to teachers who are like, yes, we use your channel uh, as education, as teaching uh, to get the kids some exercise. It's like, awesome. You know, so um, contact video rights. They didn't reply. Did the counter notification. And uh, that gives them 10 business days to respond with proof they're suing you where you live. So for us, that's Memphis, and that is called 201 Poplar. That's the building. I've been there multiple times for a variety of things. Jury duty, interviews, um, well, I guess just those two things. It's only two things I've been there for. I haven't gone for any kind of official legal issues, but... So went there, or, sorry, I didn't go to one Poplar, my bad. Um, and so then the right as that was expiring, there that, that they and they hadn't they hadn't proven they had taken us to court. In fact, it did expire and it, and they didn't take us to court. So in essence, it was a bluff. It was not truthful that they were going to sue us. Peter's got a timeout. What's up? Something wrong? No, no, no. That, I'm, I'm mentioning it, but I'll, I'll explain that. Okay. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I'm, I'm going to get to all the positive stuff soon. So uh, what they did is then they put 12 more copyright notifications on us. And then uh, when one of those expired, they put a, a 14th one again. And we're like, whoa, this is crazy. You know, what is going on? In fact, I got to the point where like, this is harassment. And I'm con I contacted people in PR. I dug up everyone we had worked with, uh, was, counter was doing the counter notifications with YouTube trying to you know trying to get this resolved but also trying to you know be like no we don't want our channel shut down because because youtube says you get three copyright strikes you're shut down we had 13 at one point 
18. So in essence, four times as many to get us shut down. We're like, this is crazy. You know, and like I told the, the, the people at Ubisoft, I'm like, we've been a friend to Ubisoft for, you know, close to a decade and a half. And I don't know where this is coming from. Like I said, you know, one, we got a license. Two, we're, we're, it's legal with the, the fair use copyright laws 107. You know, and three, you know, we're willing to work with you. Just revoke the strikes and we'll work with you. So uh, Friday, so this is Saturday, um, January 11th, 2020. So on Friday uh, in the afternoon, they revoked all the copyright strikes and you know uh, i said okay great awesome thank you what do we need to do you know like, what do we need to do to work with you like you know what i'm saying like we're we, we keep our word we're very honest we're very transparent and if you like you know we said we said here's the steps that need to happen and we're going to work with you on this we'll work with you so they they came back and said um we need you to remove all of the original just dance uh your recordings from the original just dance the first just dance video game that original game we have a licensing issue and we need that. We need to pull those. So okay, not a problem. We actually have a, a company policy that if, a com- if another company wants us to pull a video, it's a there's a certain charge per video. I waived that charge for them. I said no, nope, not going to charge you for this. Um, even though based on our legal uh, terms on our legal page, they if we publish anything for any company, they agree to all of our terms. We got this from the video game companies with their cop with their uh, legal. Um, use of service type of agreements and we said okay then if we've ever done anything for you you agree to all of our terms and there's a ten thousand dollar fine per violation so um that's something i forgot we had filed with the better business bureau against ubisoft over this and we let them know that they owed us one hundred and thirty thousand dollars for the 10 the 10k per violation they had done and when they did 13 violations so you know we i i actually friday night pulled those videos just deleted them from our channel completely all of the just the original just dance the first one is 30 33 videos deleted the playlist deleted all the pages on our website gone now another aspect is they said they're going to send us 12 denim jackets just dance denim jackets kid size so when we get those denim jackets i am planning this is like all in my head right now i haven't finalized it i haven't talked to anyone else but right now my plan and this could change, just so you know. I mean, I'd like to be transparent, is to do a, a a YouTube stream, a kind of a just chatting YouTube stream, where we're going to show the jackets and we're going to tell people how they can get one. They're going to do a giveaway. I, I have some ideas in the giveaway, but we have to because of, because of uh, the Child Online Privacy Protection Act, we have to be careful, and so we need to make sure we're not tracking any information since these are kids' jackets. You know, my plan is if you are a child, what we're going to tell you, you need to get your parents involved and be like, hey, you know, you know, your parents ought to send us you know, information so we can mail the jacket to you. That, that is our plan right now. Like I said, it's not finalized, but I just kind of want to give everyone a heads up out there. This is going to be happening soon, maybe as soon as next Saturday or the Saturday after that. I don't know. It just depends on when the denim jackets get sent to us. I did provide our mailing information to our Ubisoft contact, and my hope is maybe next week they'll be able to send those out. Don't know how long it'll take shipping to get here, but when it does, like I said, we will do, I said I'm planning a, a YouTube stream where we'll do just chatting, and we'll be like, yeah, you know, sh- we'll show them on camera, and then we'll let you know what you need to do to be able to uh, get one for free. Like I said, it'll be free to you. The only thing you'll have to do is provide a uh, mailing address. And like I said, if you're if you're under 13, you're gonna have to have your parents do that, and we're gonna specify that in the video. But like you, you know, because of COPPA, we can't take any information from you. You need to make sure, and that by by sending us this information, you promise that you're 14 or older. It's that simple. Um, like I said, we'll tell the kids, like, hey, kids, you need to get with your parents and ask them to do this, and you can get the free jacket. So, so that's, um, that's kind of the good news with, uh, everything going on recently with Ubisoft and copyright strikes and our account is clean and clear again. We are back there on YouTube. We are good to go and, um, we're continuing to do stuff. Uh, Lord willing, 
tomorrow I'll be able to do another Super Mario Maker 2 YouTube stream. I have four um, levels that you all had sent that you wanted me to play, so I can start with those four and then you leave your other levels in chat and we'll we'll get to you. Um, I, I'm going to probably have to try to look for a timer today. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's going to be five minutes, seven and a half minutes, ten minutes, whatever I play a level. Do you want an on-screen timer? Or... Yeah.